all. My name is Aaron. I'm a civil engineer for Jacobs based out of Wellington. Um, I mainly focus on the design and delivery of transport infrastructure projects. Um, and I'm also the team leader of the roads and highways team here in Wellington. Um, I graduated from the University of Canterbury in 2010, where I studied civil engineering. The three things that I wish I knew when I was studying, um, probably the first one is softer skills, um, and particularly the importance of variable and written communication. Most of what we do as practicing engineers is communications of complex solutions to a pretty varied range of audiences. At university, the focus was more on communicating to peers or university staff. Uh, the real world is a lot more varied than that. Once I started working, I realized how important communication is. The second skill would be uh, teamwork skills. Nothing we do as engineers is by ourselves. We're always part of a team, be that project team or a functional team. The size, the location, and the type of teams varies a lot, which requires a lot of different skills. For example, at Jacobs, we operate as a global business. I'm currently part of a team delivering a project in Australia, which has team members literally across the globe. So we have team members in Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and India. Um, one thing we focus a lot on in that team is having clear roles and responsibilities and making sure we have a really good plan. Um, and then lastly, the probably is time management. Um, we only have so many hours in a day. At university, you typically have to evolve your lifestyle around trying to get your university work done. The real world, you can't operate as much like that. Um, so we have to be quite well diligent in how we plan out our day um, and make sure we have good time management. Um, generally, the first thing I do in the morning is I check my emails and plan out my day. Um, depending on how many meetings or workshops I have, then I'll plan out my day depending on the importance of a task and when it needs to be done. Um, I typically have about two to three hours of meetings a day, uh, which I like to prepare beforehand, so that takes up quite a lot of my time. Generally, these meetings um, or workshops are either project or staff type meetings. Um, in between meetings is when I generally do the technical work, uh, which can include uh, development of project designs or sketches, reviewing designs or design models, report writing standards, technical specifications, and calculations of costs for projects. The ones that really help me um, are probably having clear roles, responsibilities, and objectives. Um, you, you have to know who's doing what and when, um, holding each other accountable. Um, so once once you've agreed your roles and responsibilities, make your own accountable for them. Uh, it's, it, like you said, at university, when someone doesn't pull their slack, um, others will take it up. Uh, you, that doesn't work in the work environment, so we all have to do our role. Um, and probably don't be afraid to challenge the norm. Um, it's quite hard when you're a junior engineer to challenge what's always been done, but just because it's always been done doesn't mean it's the best way to do things. So probably the first thing for me would be continued development. Um, so learning definitely doesn't finish once you leave university. Um, Engineering New Zealand's provided me opportunities to continue to learn um, since I finished university. Um, next would be industry recognition. Uh, so having gone through a chartership process, it's an opportunity to have your skills independently um, recognised um, outside your organisation, which um, does create other career opportunities. And it's definitely opened a few doors to me to be involved in projects that I might not have been involved in otherwise. And then lastly is probably industry networks. Um, so we, we meet a lot of people for our day job, but the Events Engineering New Zealand runs does allow us to meet others in the industry that we might not typically um, come across. And a lot of the more senior industry people that I personally met have been through Engineering New Zealand. Leadership, confidence and communication. Being the young engineers lead in Tauranga a few years back was probably my real first opportunity at leading the team. It required me to coordinate activities, manage budgets, and make people accountable, which are all things I now have to do on a daily basis. 
Being involved in Engineering New Zealand has also allowed me to push myself outside my comfort zone. It showed me that to learn and grow, you need to challenge yourself, which gave me the confidence to try new things. Before being a volunteer for Engineering New Zealand, I absolutely hated public speaking, and it was probably my greatest fear. I now need to do it quite frequently, but the skills and exposure I got for Engineering New Zealand has given me the confidence to not be so daunted. Mm-hmm.